It's been a long and winding road here in Las Vegas. We're at the Venetia. I'm Dave Temple along with a stacked house of beautiful people as we celebrate the 30th anniversary of Sarek, thanks to Serona and the party people that we all are. Here's who we got. We got Jenny at the end, Todd, James, August, and Elise. And we are talking about digital enamel. Yes, yes. <laughs> digital what up? enamel. What up? We're talking about, it's a digital oh, oh. dental yeah. magazine. What up, y'all? Right? <laughs> I've never been this bad. <laughs> By the way, if it's the end of the day, we're all, we've got permission to be a little bit crazy. A little drunk. You know what we're yeah. about? What? We're about born to mill. Born to mill. We're, we're millers. We're the mill. Natural born millers. It's not the beer. <laughs> go. That's what you got going on. All right, let's start with, all right, you three guys started it, right? You started the digital magazine. So let, yeah. let me tell me, where, where was the inception, the the brainchild, where did it start? Well, let me start. Uh, the, the three of us have been friends for many, many years, and we're all, we all had our independent training programs and everything. We've been friends for so long. It just made sense that we yeah. collaborated, help each other out, and it's been uh, it's been a beautiful thing. It's just yeah, been it's, awesome. It's lots, w- lots of it. It's wonderful. You know, we all have different uh, approaches to dentistry, different personalities, but we all have the same message. And so we all get together and work so well together. Todd covers great stuff. James covers great stuff. Like me, I don't know. I don't even know why I'm here. But I mean, I'm glad they bring me along. He's brilliant. You were talking <laughs> earlier about something very specific as to the photographs in your magazine. What Absolutely. makes it special and Absolutely. sets it apart? Um, you know, uh, a long time ago on Dental Town, um, I started a thread called uh, Sirac Du Jour. And all I wanted to do was take pictures of Sirac. Todd got on it, and Todd taught me how to take pictures well. Um, and since Todd's inspiration, I, I kept trying to take better pictures. And I think, you know, the internet is riddled with really bad dental photography. Blood, there's like food in there. It is just like, ugh. And so we have really high standards of photography. So one thing about Digital Enamel being a digital magazine of dentistry is that we take great pains, we take a lot of clinical photographs, and we make sure that what we present is aesthetically pleasing um, and easy to learn from. Well, I remember at uh, 27 and a half we talked, we were both fans of electronic toys, and when I saw this cat, I said, you know, he, he's got something special going on because everything was about the latest electronics. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't surprise me at all. No, James Clem is uh, worlds farther than we ever have Look thought. Dang. So he has a whole videography. But, but I'm old. Dang. I'm old <laughs> compared to them. I don't look as good as you, though, man. I don't know what you're doing, but you got to keep doing what you're doing. It's probably those hormones. It's hormones. Yeah, it's got to be the hormones. But the, what, as an extension of what August was saying, uh, the thing that we really focus on is displaying dentistry in a way that whether it's the public or other dentists can be inspired by digital dentistry, i.e. digital enamel. And there isn't anybody, and I can say this with my full heart, that does better videography than Dr. James Clem. Oh my God. Nobody, nobody oh can compete God. with the kind of stuff nice. he produces. And so we're- It's, it's unreal. We're, we're very honored unreal. to be part of it. We are, we're driven to take this, ne- this technology and make it the next thing in dentistry to set the standard of what we do from implants, diagnostics, restorative care, complete patient care. And uh, it's a lot of fun to work with these guys because they, we, we challenge each other to be better. Well, let's bring the beautiful ladies into the picture oh, and find you out what, what Jenny and Elise bring to the party. Let's start at this end with Jenny. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I think what makes uh, digital enamel special is, like they've mentioned, it's the three of them. Um, they bring definitely a different um, approach to dentistry, and they bring their experience. But what also makes them different is our education. Um, we're able to, we have two training centers, which are in uh, California and Texas, and we're able to really customize the training. Um, so doctors who come to any digital enamel course are going to get one-on-one attention with all three of these doctors. And I think that's a really unique thing because they get to know them and then they get to feed off of their experience. So. If I could add one, quite, one thing to that, yeah. I mean, come on. 
Santa Rosa, California, yeah. in wine country, uh, and Austin. Austin. I mean, Texas. there's other centers in nice areas with right. a lot of retired people, uh, kind of desert and dry. Sure. I mean, look at us. Wine country in Austin. Yeah. So much fun. Yes. So when you come to our classes, you're going to have, obviously, fun in the class, high education, but these places are destinations. Yeah. And they're going to be fun to go to. Yeah. Elise? Well, I think the other main thing is the idea of technology is not just necessarily knowing how to do what you do, but innovating. And I think what sets these three apart is they don't just know what they do, they innovate within their fields. And I feel like they reach a level much higher than just the average clinician, and they're great at teaching it. So some people are really great at doing what they do, some people are great at teaching what they do, and these three can do all of that. And it seems like dentists and clinicians all around really relate to that. And their small class sizes really help to have that one-on-one -on -one uh, type of attention in that learning environment. So I find people really respond well to that. And we've gotten a lot of really great feedback. Yep. And I want to circle back to the Santa Rosa point. <laughs> there you go. The there Santa you go. Rosa point is a favorite point of mine. I, I want to become a dentist just to be able to do that. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Wine country. I mean, a little wine, a little dentistry. Sure. You, get to. sure. you know, we're no, going to do uh, some live patient the... stuff, so hopefully the wine not before the dentistry. But, you know, <laughs> we won't tell. <laughs> Yeah, Tom. One, of the, one of the one of the great things about the three of us collaborating is that we're not just um, working on what's happening today. We have a lot of things that are coming down the pipe. A lot of innovation, different ways for not only training but displaying digital dentistry to the world. And and so, I, what do you what do you have to say about that? I'm gonna I'm gonna lengthen your mic there. No. There oh, there we go. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Can we, before Always we leave, helping each other out. <laughs> we're going to wrap it up here quickly, but explain the significance of the motorcycle jackets. That was Todd's oh, bit. That was Todd's <laughs> That's true. Of Todd's course, uh, I'm a graphics artist wannabe, and so right. uh, I'm kind of, an, kind of an artsy fartsy type guy. And, yeah. uh, you know, uh, we, we have so much fun together, all of us, that yeah. we, had to, we had to come up with something that we could uh, portray what we actually represent, and there's nothing more sexy than motorcycle jackets. <laughs> yeah, but you got to see your back. <laughs> yeah, okay, let me see. Okay, you we got to do this. Back. We got to do All this. Right. I just turn around. <laughs> Digital enamel. There oh, you that go. Is. Born to mill. There you go. Born to nice. mill. And with right. that, we're going to say a bid you adieu, and are you guys coming back around tomorrow morning early? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> yes, All please right. come back. All right. All right. Guys, have a great night. Cool. Go finish the party. And All right, we're going to wrap so it up from here. All right. Live in Las Vegas, call it a day. It's been a remarkable start to a fantastic weekend. Make it a great night. We'll see you tomorrow. Live from Las Vegas.